what's up everybody welcome back to another episode y'all uh today we're at the pier today um chasing some mackerels chasing some bluefish chasing some jacks chasing some redfish it is summer y'all it's a little hot out there um so this is why you see me guys with long sleeves and know how to protect the guys make sure if you guys are coming out here to the pier stay protected guys this heat will kill you guys especially if you're not used to this florida heat so on this week's episode y'all we are doing a top five reels for pier fishing now i did a two i did do a top five pier fishing rod video which did amazing a lot of you guys messaged me through instagram and facebook but i could not get back to all of you guys so please do me a favor if you guys have any videos that you guys want me to make for you guys um, leave it in the comment section this way i could get to you guys because it is a lot of you guys writing to me right now so i definitely appreciate your support for reaching out but let me know in the comment section we are going to get into this video and do a top five reels we're going to get into the video y'all show you the top five reels that i like to use i fish on these piers about three to four times a week so definitely i think you guys will enjoy it right let's get into it y'all if you're new to the channel help me out hit the subscribe button it's completely free i'm trying to get to 15,000 subscribers by the end of this year so i definitely appreciate your support and if you guys enjoy this content on this video like this please hit that thumbs up for me it really helps my channel grow guys let's get into it y'all all right yeah, let's start off with the first reel that we're using as far as uh i'm very lucky and fortunate to have a lot of reels that I should show you guys in different options as far as you can use. So we're going to start off with the first one, which is called the Shimano um, Stratic C3000. Um, now, first part of the video, first part of this reel, it's valued at $220. Um, you get them on special sometimes on Black Friday and during the holidays around $200, $180. But around this time of year, especially in the summer, that's what the cost is. Now, as far as line capacity, it's uh, you could put up to 10 pounds, 200 pound braid line. Now, real extremely light, about 7.9 ounces. Um, max drag, 19.8 pounds bearing 6.1 what i like about this reel is that it's extremely light does not weigh anything so like you see right here if you're throwing lures and with the light setup you could definitely cast out there for hours and hours not hurting your shoulders and they're fully drag sealed reels so if you do get them in the water um they will wash off with water and that's it not messing up the reels they do last a long time and what i like about shimano is they make quality reels um some reels that you don't have to fix as often as some other pen so that's reel number one uh, shimano stratic 3000 all the reels that i'm going to be reviewing with you guys today will be linked in the description if you guys want to check them out all right let's, go, let's get into reel number two all right y'all let's get into reel number two um that would be G5000. Now, we should call it, like my buddy said, uh, Sear Hooked. Uh, that would be T, battle tested, guys. These are great reels. And the best part about these reels is that there are, um, now they're a little heavier than the Stratics. I know a lot of the reels are about 22 ounces, a 5.7 gear ratio. You could put up to 400 yards of 20 pound, 300 yards of 30 pound and ball bearings 5.6 but what i like about these reels and i've used them a lot if you guys have checked out the videos in sebastian south florida the keys um i've caught a lot of tarpon on this a permit big snook big redfish on this you guys have seen on the pier so definitely a reel that i would suggest to you guys if you guys are starting off in the pier and also want a good reel that lasts you a long time i've had this one for about four years actually caught my biggest redfish here on the pier about 40 pounds no problem the max drag was definitely and and just to show you guys still going smooth after four years um all you do is wash it off after the use and that is it i have this set up right with 20 pound and Throw it spinning. I'm gonna get a zoom. Right Just cut that and put the end somewhere, you know what I'm saying? And that's reel number two. If you guys want to check it out, this reel is actually valued about $159. You get these on Amazon. Like I told you guys, link down below if you guys want to check it out. So we're gonna get into reel number three, y'all. All right, y'all, we're gonna get into the third reel. And uh, I've had this reel for about eight years. We're gonna show you the old one just to show you how good these reels are. Uh, Spin Fisher 6500. Now, this is an eight year old reel. So, um, 
just goes to show you how long and good they last these things are battle tested for big tarpon big snook permit other type of cobias and king macros that i've caught on them but we're going to show you the newer version of it which is 6500 um now max drag on this one is about 30 pounds a little heavier again on this side as well 22 ounces line capacity if you're putting 30 pounds is up to 450 yards so if you hook on a big monster tarpon this will definitely take the heat um another thing as far as that is if these also are fully sealed reels um some of the fish that i've caught on these reels are fish like king macros tarpon big big snook big redfish on the pier so very good um reel to use now cost of this reels are about 159 dollars so definitely a good reel to use and does not break the bank which is a good part about it not like some reels are about 300 400 dollars now i will not be putting the van star or the saragossa in this video being that most people cannot afford those reels because they're 700 to 400 dollars for real so that is reel number three if you guys want to check it out good reel and it's fully sealed i've had this one for about three years actually two years and just still looks brand new y'all we're getting to real next reel now guys this is actually a little bit lower than the spin fish as far as quality but great reel overall uh, this is a pen battle six the newest version you could get out there i've had this one for about two years also exactly it's taking a good beating on the pier now what i like about this reel is that it holds up to almost 500 yards of 30 pound braid that i have on here so if you guys are fighting a big fish even the shark that you hook on you can still bring it in very easily max drag is about 35 30 pounds um weight is about 23 ounces which is a little heavier than the spin fisher um 5.6 gear ratio very good smooth reel as you guys can see stainless steel ball bearings and a big big if you guys have big hands like me to grab it it's easily especially if you're hooking on the big fish so definitely check this reel out as you can see right there this one's taking an actual beating i've put a lot of fish on the deck with this so um that is reel number four you guys can check it out um again we have one more reel to go and i'm going to give you my favorite reel it's a little bit more expensive than the other ones but i'll show you guys why that is today let's get into that last reel all right y'all let's go last reel of the day which is my favorite my uh my sweetheart and why i'm gonna tell you guys i've been wanting to get this reel i've had it for about six months now and i've been wanting to really get this reel for a long time and uh, uh let's get into the first part fully sealed reel that would be gmq 6000 now something that's unheard of for a 6000 15.2 ounces extremely extremely light great reel for offshore inshore i mean i've caught an amber jacks offshore i've caught them on uh, tarpon on the pier permit on the bridges i mean great great reel extremely light as far as line capacity to about 350 yards on this reel max drag um up to almost 20 20 pounds 28 pounds of max drag gear ratio 5.7 and I don't know if you guys heard me again. If you're putting 30 pounds, you could reach up to 350 yards. Now, this is my most expensive reel in 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 my collection as far as pier, which is valued at $229. Extremely smooth. And what I like about this, it it's it's so light, especially if you hook on a big fish. Because as you know, when you got a big fish on and a heavy reel, it starts to weigh in on your shoulders and your body. So this is my number one reel i would recommend you guys if you're really getting into pier fishing right there and of course fully sealed guys that would be gmq so hope you guys enjoy this week's episodes on the top five reels if you guys want to check out the top five rods i will leave that in the comment section it's doing great so check it out y'all thank you guys for so much for tuning in we'll see you guys till the next time